Thuya occidentalis, eastern arborvitae. These trees can reach 40 to 60 feet tall, although there are many smaller cultivars, which may appear as large or small shrubs. They are a dense, broadly pyramidal, again, cultivars can vary. They usually have a dominant trunk or leader, which is a distinctive feature from separating this from Thuya orientalis. Foliage is evergreen and arranged alternately. Leaves are scale-like and pointed and usually appear in a flat plane. Foliage color is darker green above, can have paler undersides, and will often turn bronzy in the winter. Branches usually end in a flat, horizontal, compressed spray of scale-like foliage. Ornamental features of Thuya occidentalis include gray to brown-red bark with shallow furrows. Fruit are oblong, light brown cones, a third of an inch to a half inch long, and may be persistent. Cones are yellow when young, turning brown and pendant at maturity, often at the end of the first summer, and persisting. They may look like small brown flowers. Cultural information for Thuya occidentalis. These are hardy from zones three to seven, do best in full sun, but will tolerate part shade. Soil pH is between five and eight or acidic to alkaline conditions. Insect and disease problems can include bagworms, spider mites, and heart rot. Deer browsing is also a major problem for Eastern Arborvitae. These are native in Iowa, across the Midwest, the Eastern USA, and into Canada. These transplant readily from bald and burlap or containerized stock, particularly if they have been root pruned. These should be planted in areas of high atmospheric moisture or high soil moisture content, as they can be susceptible to strong, drying winds, ice, and snow damage. Winter burn is a major problem if inadequate soil moisture is not present going into the winter. This is a form of desiccation injury. Watering these in before winter is often a good strategy. Thuya occidentalis can be used for windbreaks, shelter belts, screening, or foundation plantings. These can be somewhat overused at times in the designed landscape. There are superior cultivars with superior performance aspects. Browse damage from deer should not be underestimated with Thuya occidentalis. It's a major problem.